Hey everybody, and thanks for joining the Monochrome stream. Uh, we are at week two with our streaming and moving on to our next character. Um, this one is called the Psycho. Uh, if you joined us last week, we knocked out our very first character, the one you will uh, encounter first in the game. And uh, what I'll do is I want to show you where we left off. So two streams isn't really at an hour each isn't really enough to finesse and get all the pieces done that need to be done for it. So um, I went offline and finished the details and made sure everything was tidy. And uh, so this is kind of what we left off with uh, in the end here. Um, this is our scout character and uh, did all the texturing, got him a cool jacket symbol on the back which is the hunter symbol and um, he's sent for approval so I'm waiting to hear back um, before he's approved but that's our first guy there so pretty pretty happy with that um, but today we are doing this guy on the left here which like I said earlier is the psycho um, so we're gonna start that um, again I've just pulled up the main template for um, the normal sized people here for the game and um, we're gonna dive right into this there are some elements of this guy that are gonna be a little tricky to pull off um, but we'll get to that um, yeah so thanks for joining we're gonna jump into this so we're uh, designing our characters and all the assets in a program called box edit so each of these uh, squares here are called voxels, and um, that's how we build everything for the sandbox game. Um, so first thing we got to do is we need to get rid of all of the skin color because they are hunters and they do not have skin pigment. So we're going to do that first. Hello. Um, now I wrote down the skin color hex that our scout was. And uh, we did BF, BF, BF. So let's, um, what I want to do, not that you'll see this guy's skin a whole lot. Um, and our dog is barking. I apologize. He's angry at the other dogs who have taken his bed. Um, so we were at BF. Now the psycho, what I'm thinking is, I think he's gonna be super, super pale um, compared to the others, uh, like a not white, white because that'll look weird, but almost like a ghostly, a ghostly white. Um, I think that'll really add to the, the craziness of him. So let's what are we at E1. Let's start with that. It looks really funny with this. Now we're not really gonna see his eyebrows at all, so. We're just, let's just paint over to that. Um, actually, it might be good to have a little reference points. So let's just change the color to dark. Okay, eyeballs. We'll just quickly change to anything else. And the mouth, I believe is the same color as the ear by default. It is. All right, and a little dark part of the ear there. All right, and then we've got all this hair, which is going to be pretty dark, so I'll just kind of, that's pretty nice. How is that? 20, 20, 20, so I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to make this also the same color, because we'll fix that later. Okay, so I think we're in a good spot to uh, get started. So the main focal point of this guy is his mask here. Um... So we're going to start with that first. We'll try to get his front and center here. And it's a little bit lighter than his hair. So let's go to his hair. All right. So as I go, I'm going to kind of walk through the tools I'm using. If, if anybody that watches this is interested in the sandbox or creating your own assets. Um, 
box and it's pretty pretty fun to use it's pretty straightforward um, it's not too difficult so um, what I'm gonna do is choose the pencil tool and we're going to turn on this mirroring which you can see there's a line here that's gonna split down the middle and it's gonna copy everything I do on one side it'll do on the other so to get a good focal point we're going to kind of outline where these big lenses are around his eyes. So we're going to do that. Let's see how big we can get these. And they kind of sit up higher on his head, so maybe we do it up here. Not see his face. Oh, we've got them right here. And let's get rid of that one. Okay. Obviously, we'll do some black. Good. Now let's go to the really dark part, which is going to be the lenses, and we're just going to... Actually, you know what? We are going to build this out so it's a little taller, but I just want to kind of see if our shape is right. Um, let's see if we can go bigger. We'll add like a... If we do this... That means we'll go there. Because we can't do round, obviously, because we're working with square boxes. Um, we get as close as we can. Um, so it might be a little rounded. What I want to do is see that's like just flat on its face with one layer and we're gonna kind of build that up. So what we'll do, I'm gonna turn on this tool, which allows us to see kind of the outline of what we're working with here. And the top of the mask kind of comes to right here. So let's fill all that in. Am I painting? I am painting. We want this tool, which will apply a block here. We're going to follow that. It's pretty much a straight line all the way up. Okay, let's go ahead and delete this hair that was in the way so it's all the same. Okay, dokie. We'll be putting the hair back anyway. So, All right. And we're still applying it, painting it on. We'll probably go to right there. Let's see what else we got. All right. Um, bottom part. So we're gonna fill all this in. Again, we're gonna. It's gonna be tricky because it's kind of comes down to a rounded cylinder. happy. Alright, so we're going to do that. And we're going to start to taper it down. And this pretty much comes all around his chin, so we're going to fill all of that in. Maybe even that. Okay, so that's exactly how it was. And then we're going to have it wrap around his chin. So we come out here. Okay, so now let's give this some depth. The cool thing about that, uh, this tool here, the face tool, all the colors that are the same that are on this face, if I click it once, it'll raise it up. Um, but we're going to do it... Let's 
fry four layers. Now we can come in with the eraser and kind of carve out what we want. So obviously it gets pretty small down here. Whoops, I need to change my tool back. I'm gonna do the box tool. Allow this to drag. So if we drag and kind of stair step this. Kind of give it the shape that we want. Um, tops the same way. Let's get rid of the first layer. See if we have enough room to do it. Do, do. So see, it's kind of it gives it as round as we can get with each layer. Um, however, we need like a double one here. So then here on the goggles, it's kind of another another layer. So let me carve that because it's rounded. There we go. And then they go down here. So let's, let's carve that away. And the same thing right here. Now, this needs to be more rounded backwards, so let's carve that, there we go, I'm going to go ahead and take this away and then let's build our round part here. We're as round as we can get it, so we do need to keep, oops, we do need to keep this. And I think be like this, and down here. Not that we'll see it because we're gonna build down, but so it's got this kind of accordion tube on it. And I might have to take away some of this. So the problem, actually. It's not a problem. So the edge of this box, see we have one, two, and then we hit this wall. That's as much space as we have. But if we look up here, these are the dimensions. We can actually make this, even if we just make it one more, that'll give us one more box. And I think that might be enough. All right, so let's see how we can make this round. Pretty good. And then we're going to start coming down with it. Way too much. Yeah, we might have to drop kind of straight down. Let's see. It's probably. One of the trickiest parts of this guy. Then we come down here. So it drops a little below his chin. We're gonna try to hold true to that exaggeration. Let's see. Okay. So let's do that and then let's make the big canister that's down here. this. So what we did earlier where we added a row, we can't do that with the height because if you can see it, the net kind of rests on the shadowy body and then down here is the rest of it. As soon as we start messing with that, all of the animations and stuff will have to be changed, um, which is not 
just make it a box. Let's see what that looks like. Maybe we just do this. That's not bad. Okay. Take this one out. Let's, uh, I can't really add that width. It needs to be bigger than this part. So, whoops. So that's not too bad. I'm wondering if we... There's only so much fine little detail we can do, but that doesn't look too bad. Um, okay, now I do think that this needs to go a little further back on his head. So what we're gonna do is, let's go one more layer up right here. We did that already right here, didn't we? Oh, it's mirrored. Duh. Okay. Now, obviously, his eyes aren't going to fall way back there. So what we'll do is we'll go back to our plane. Whoops. Let's fill these in. And what we might do, we might actually leave one down. Yeah, that looks pretty cool. And then... At the top here, it's so it's smaller, and then as it gets up here around, it's a little wider. So I want to do that also. So here's where we are. And this part. Let's do that here. I'm gonna delete that. Do another row going up here. Oh, wrong tool. It caused a lot of damage, that one. Okay. And then we're going to kind of, like I said, swing it out just a bit. Probably not that one. And let's add one more. Back smaller, so let's do uh, let's do that. Okay, that looks pretty good. So small, big, small again. Okay, not too bad. Now we're probably gonna do these straps, which kind of push down his hair. Let's start with the straps. So I have two options. I can paint them on like this, which means it's flat, or I can lay a layer, which I think is what I want to do. So this top strap, it's not proportionate, obviously, because it goes by his eyes, and his eyes are right here. I might be able to make that bigger, but... So they kind of buckle in the side here. Let's do two layers. And they go all the way around his head. Kind of like we did on the biker goggles, it's a stretchy band. Okay. So that's good for right now. I do think I want to delete this. All right, so let's do the bottom strap, which is kind of, I guess it's going to be right here. Oops. And it already has a strap there, so let's just try. So we'll go all the way around here. Maybe it makes it real thick. But it's not his skin. There, I cheated. I don't even know. So let's make that. Alright, 
so that I like how this sticks up off this because it's got those cool buckles which will color in there and it, it looks better than just this one going with that however I don't even really finish I think this maybe needs to go away Or at least like this. Actually, that becomes a problem because then we can't really color the different lenses. We might mess with that later. Okay. However, if we do another layer, let's just see what it would look like if we do. It looks like to have that extra, extra one on top here. Right under his ear. Which means this needs to go away. Looks kind of silly because it would be really flat with him. Uh, what do this up? In the meantime, let's do this top one. So he's got one going across the top too. Goes all the way across, and I'm guessing it's gonna connect. We've played with our fair share of gas masks, and it always kind of connects. There we go. <laughs> cool. And sometimes it has this part for a match for extra support. There we go. All right, so let's see where we're at here. I think we are going to just go with the bottom one being in. Because your head's bigger on top, so that would kind of make sense. So let's bring that back. But we'll round this out if we can. Instead of adding skin in there like we did. There. That way it's real tight on the bottom. Right there. No, no, no. Actually, yeah, we can just do that. Alright. Now let's see. We have a bunch of forehead. Um I think we can make the eyes bigger. Can't go wider this way. But we could go wider and up this way. Let's try. So we'll come. Actually, we'll delete those. Still on my delete. There we go. We'll delete these as well. Okay. The bigger the eyeballs are on this, the scarier it is. Alright, let's go wider, which means this, this, and that. So let's delete this. It's going to be really big eyes, but I think it might be cool. What did we miss? Oh, we are going wider, so this is going to be different now. 
it'll be three on top and three on the bottom. So it will be a little rounder like we're looking for. One, two, three, one, two, three, four. That'll be the end. That's better as long as it's not too wide, which means go and then we're gonna come down here delete this yep that looks cool I think we can make this work and we just gotta hide the lens part here we'll just make the goggle part a little bigger there we go I think that looks a lot better. It's like a lot of forehead, but that's okay. Um, I might be able to do something cool with the colors. All right. Good, good, good. I think something we need to do is maybe raise this up one so we can have an extra layer down here. I'm going to try these tools. Let's see. So if we do selection and I can drag and select what I want, we just don't want to select the box. There we go. Yeah, we might just have to. Uh, based on where it's at. Let's try to do that. So this comes what's going on? Nope. Wrong tool. Here we go. Oh yeah, it's gonna be pretty straightforward. That one. That one. We'll just fill these in right here. There we go. Oh, we do need to make this go up. There we go. There. Now the canister is bigger. A um, little more scale with what we were doing. And if we really wanted to, we could uh, round it out like that. I don't know. always change that later um okay so let's let's jump over here and let's knock out some of this hair real quick um it's kind of his other other big feature now we can't have it all spiky in different ways pointy um Okay, I'm going to turn off the symmetry because it's going to be all over the place. And then we're going to just try to make it look like crazy hair. Mad scientist. And this is going to go under the hair, so they're kind of pushed down right there. It's really, really tricky. But we're getting there. Yep, that'll be cool, that'll be cool. Fenster the black hair. Oh boy, it's another puppy. All right, so this hair, I'm sure, is all crazy back here. And it's pretty long, too. Um, I put strands of it kind of coming down. Slow. 
even with, let's change our light here. Let's spin this around. There we go. Looks a little better. All right, we don't want it to be evenly spaced per se. I just want to kind of get the base, the base idea, and then we will kind of go from there when we do the final coloring and whatnot. All right. So it's really hard to see all that black. Yeah, the band kind of really splits down there. And then let's try to have maybe some of these kind of come over the mask. All right. Let me get this one maybe too. Oops, not there. Ah, that's fine. Just crazy hair everywhere. We'll probably have to balance this with his head size. There we go. Get something down. We have a lot of width here, but and he's got a lot more length, like it comes. Way down here. I can't even actually see his ears at all. So I'll probably just paint his ears out while we're at it. Oh, there's much more light on this side. Alright. We're getting at least a good structure of what he's doing and then it looks like he's got the straps over the hair so this is actually going to be more hair down here instead of skin and then some of that is going to hang down and bulge out there so it'll take some finesse and then yeah his hair goes all the way into his mask there No skin showing at all. All right. So that's getting there. I think that's pretty good on the hair for right now. I think we need to move on to some more. So we'll come back to that. Um, let's save. Oh my gosh, we hadn't been saving. I'm going to get out of here and come back in because it did that weird thing where it shows you all the boxes. Okay. So that's looking pretty good. Um, I'll do the hair and all the coloring. Um, let's... I don't remember what skin color I had on his neck. Let's see. Pretty pale. E1. Alright, so let's... Move down to his chest. Which is very easy because it's all one color. You don't have to change much. So you can kind of see the shadow where it's gonna where it's gonna hit, which is pretty nice. Alright, so E1 will be his chest. Let's go ahead and do the rest of his body parts. So this is his belly, which is disconnected.
And what else can we see? That's really all we can see right now. Okay. So let's get some pants color going here. Um, those could be jeans. But this guy is a little out there, so we're going to make it... That that's three F. I'm writing down my colors this time. Okay. So let's go ahead and change that just so we get kind of a general view of what he's gonna look like. Alright, all the legs. Oops, I didn't select it. Do the same thing all the way down here. Two more for his legs. So the other tricky part is going to be just two more things. Um, the one I'm the most concerned about is his jacket. Because you'll notice, first of all, the collar goes way up to his head. And then secondly, it goes from his back all the way down to his ankles, more or less. Um, which presents a problem because if you, if we attach it to his back and he turns, like and it's attached here, his legs might kind of come through it just based off of the technology of the animation. So have to mess with that a little. Um, I might have to just paint it on him. All right, let's do some black. Really dark shoes will be the darkest part of him. I did one B. I can do the same for right now. Okay, left foot, same thing here. <clears throat> Saving as we go. Okay, uh, so that leaves his sleeves for his jacket color. Which we can do, it's going to be kind of a lighter gray. Like that. I'm trying to match the photo as much as possible. Which, by the way, um, Oh, I didn't see what color it was. The photos here are done by our comic artist, uh, Cairo and Leko. You can see Cairo's signature there. Um, but Cairo does the ink work, and then Leko does the colors, or the, the values in this case, since there are no colors, um, for our comic book. And now they're doing these characters for us, for our, our concept characters for the game. So. Then we get to come in here and voxelize them and make them into playable NPCs for the game. So it's a lot of fun to see it kind of transpire from medium to medium to different platforms. So, all right, last piece, get the color all out of here. Okay except for his hands. So let's uh, let's do his hands. That's kind of his other signature thing. Um, so what I wanted is, uh, as you progress in the game, obviously the first mobs you encounter are easier, and then they'll get more complex, harder and harder, you know, as you go. So first guy we did the scout is using his fists, uh, which is appropriate in that case anyway. And uh, this guy has his fists, but he's got a little weapon attached to it there. So what we'll do, that's his skin color. This is going to be his, quote, fingernails. So we're going to... 
make them slightly darker. Um, this part right here is the shadow here, generally. No, it's just a waste it, but I think it's like that. Oops. Okay, so now what we'll do, if we spin him around here, there we go. So if he's holding, yeah, it looks like he's holding it in his hand. These are his knuckles right here. So let's get a dark gray. Let's do a row. Actually two rows. Let's try two rows. This is really hard to control upside down. There we go. All right, and then how many do we have? Four. What I don't want is to have three spikes. I don't want it to look like a mini Wolverine. Four right next to each other will be a straight line. So what we can do, we get five. It looks like we have room right here to add one. He's holding that. Oops. All right. My hands are so tricky. Because, okay, there we go. Um, and then that's kind of a shiny metal, right? So it's lighter. So let's... It won't be pointy. There'll be little squares, but let's see. <laughs> so that's going to be three if we do five, which is not what I want. However... We have a row. Okay, we've got one more row down here. I think we can get away with four if we do this. Can we get away with four? No, we can't. Hmm. How can we do this? Okay, we do need to make this a little brighter. Um, we could stagger them, perhaps. any wider and it would be really silly. Oops, 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 no, that's not. So hmm. See they're touching it still looks silly. So <laughs> let's do one and let's zoom out and see what that looks like. Um, I really don't want to do three. <laughs> Especially with the crazy hair anyway. I guess we could make that kind of thicker and space it out. It won't be exactly like the drawing, but... that what if oh I know what we need to do we need to slide all this down one here we'll do a row right here put that one there This one. Okay. Delete this one. Okay. Now, this lines up with his knuckles, which is true. How did I do that? I lost. I'm busy here. Okay. So now it looks like he's holding it. That's kind of cool. Um, oh, that's why it works, because that one's... Yeah. 
We can get away with it. All right, let's leave this on here and see what it looks like. That means we can add one more spike. So we went from having too much to too little, but oops, well, too much technically. No, right there. Okay. Let's save and see what that looks like. That's pretty cool. It looks like he's holding it. Now, I probably need to make him longer. Probably by one. That's pretty cool. It's different from what we have, but it's not just three. So it's not a full Wolverine. Um, I think that's pretty cool for right now. Um, cool. All right. Um, I guess let's do the other side. Make sure we get the uh, know what we're doing here. So I've got this skin color is E1. The dark part is 9F. And where did those fingernails at? B3. All right, so we'll do that first. And different color. All right. Um, let's see. What's the skin color? It's B1 or E1. Yep. His nails were B3. And the shadowy part is 9F. Okay. Save that. Cool. Okay. Now let's remember what we did here. So we need to get the color too. So the metal part is 51. And the spikes are C's. Okay. Didn't even look for the game. Okay, so the outside part of his nail. We did one to three, all the way down to one. Okay, we did that. I'd say it's looking pretty crazy. All right, let's add a new color. It's 51. So outside, one to three. This one's backwards. I'll go all the way down his hand. Uh, yes. All right. I think that's it. And then let's alternate the spikes here. So we started at top on the inside. Okay, so we'll start on the inside over here. Behind him right now. There we go. Is this so backwards? Let's go backwards first. All right, so that color was all C's. Two spikes. Go ahead and take it. So one, two, one, two. Did an extra one. I might do that. No, I didn't. There we go. All right. Let's see if it's the same. Oh 
was pretty cool. I wonder if they would look cooler if they were alternating. You know what I mean? Like, mm, how would that look? Small, big, small, big. That means all of these would be small. functionality purposes of that, but it looks less like a toothbrush. <laughs> I don't know. I'll keep them both one on each way just so we can make that decision later. All right. Let's see. So the boots, um, these come up his chin. So we can do that. That's pretty straightforward. We're at 1B. What we'll do is we'll come into the shin here. And we'll add that color and paint it up a little bit. Um, let's see. So that bends kind of with his knee. We are here-ish. Actually, we should probably stay below this now, so. Yeah. And this might give us a chance to do a bigger foot this time. Yeah, I think we'll be able to. All right, so same thing here, we're gonna add one B up to this line. And there we go. All right. That's pretty good. It's coming along. Um, let's see. It'll look really good when we get all the color in there. Um, the jacket. Oh, you know what we didn't add? He's kind of got these wraps on his hands. Well, that might be just be a painting thing, but let's go ahead and knock that out. So his skin color is B1. Add some of these hand wraps here. All right, so we're looking behind him. So maybe he's kind of holding it like that. I'll just paint it on a little bit. We can fix it later. CD, CD. We don't want them to be identical. He's not a robot, but uh, all right. Let's paint those on here. So if he's holding, Cool. I think that'll work for now. Just help us see his big picture. There we go. So he's kind of holding the wraps. Um, we'll probably add another color or two in there um, to give it more value. But um, okay. Um, so the jacket. Um, that's what I was talking about. So his sleeves will work fine. They're attached to his arm. We can paint the jacket on. But then it doesn't 
Like it goes straight down our here, right here if he was wearing it. And the only way we can really get that to work is to make sure none of the animations hit that. Like his arms, I guess, would do that. But yeah, that's gonna be a we have to do that separately. Um, okay, so yeah, I think he's definitely getting there. Let's add some reflection in here so it is not so dark. And then we'll go, we're going to go the other direction this time. that be mm, how bright do we want the brightest reflection maybe there and then from the brightest will come down quite a bit actually yes I should have mirrored this oh no that one Why is it not working? Okay, I'm gonna do this. Let's just be real. Okay, now let's change the color. Maybe like that. Not too bad. Do one more because we have really big lenses this time, and we're gonna make it just almost you can almost see it down here, and then maybe just do one right there. Like you can't even see it. There we go. Cool. And we can turn this one down a little bit. Can you, can you, can you? That's pretty cool. Let's save it. Um, I was pretty happy with it so far. It's really hard to see the, the depth with no color on it, but actually, you know what we need to do? Bring this around. That's better. Now we can see what's going on. Definitely makes the colors a little brighter, but. All right, so we've done the mask, the hair, or most of the hair. We gotta really finesse the hair. Um, got his sleeves painted on, his skin color, his pants. Got his boots up where we want them. Experimenting with his hands and his weapons, either that one or toothbrush punching. Oh, he used to be a dentist. Um, cool. The jacket. We're gonna have to figure that jacket out. I don't think we can do the big collar back here. We can make it come up. Maybe a little bit. I don't think we can go all the way to his head. So we'll have to fake that a little bit. Um, last thing we'll do, which we didn't do it on the scout because we couldn't, didn't have room with what was going there, but this guy is real open here. He's wearing three necklaces. Um, I think we can do two of those. One we'll paint on. And the other, we will add a layer. Um, so that's the skin color. Let's do dark color. Let's 
maybe, I mean, this could be, we can only do probably so much with the boxes, but. Okay, that's one. hang on his neck so I want to make sure it's and then the other one we'll do a little bit lighter let's try uh, I'm not sure this is hair but maybe this one goes over it Shifted over one, so this goes across here. Doesn't really matter back here because they will kind of sit on each other and everything. So, can you tell there's two though at this point? I don't know. I don't. We can mess with that. Okay. So I think we're in a pretty good stop. Uh, we're at our hour mark. So yeah, the mask was it's a bit tricky, but I think we're we're in a good spot. So um, we will finish as much more of him as we can this Friday, and go from there. So thanks for watching. And um, I will see you next Friday.